All right, I'm going to give you a quick video on uh, G5 characters in iClone, or I guess any character. It doesn't matter the generation. Uh, I'm going to make a video about tattoos and how you can put tattoos on your characters. It's real simple. I mean, it takes a little bit of toying around with, but it's, it's fairly simple. So I have G5 Eddie here. See, he has no tattoos nothing all right so the first thing you do is you go to uh, whether it be upper body lower body or the face if you want to get face tattoos or whatever let's start out with the upper body okay so you go here to texture settings I'm sorry material no I'm sorry my bad go to avatar <laughs> Or is it skin? Oh, it's skin. Duh. So you go to material and you select which you want to put the tattoo on. Um, I want to put it on his arm. So we're going to pick upper. Then I'm going to launch Photoshop or whatever your default um, photo editing preferences. So it's going to basically give you a picture of Eddie's skin and it's don't let it be too confusing i mean you can use this as a roadmap. map i mean you can see here is just like his chest you know so only thing you do is you add a new layer and we're going to add a picture i don't know this guy we're gonna add kermit the frog so just find wherever his arm is and it could vary on different characters I'm just gonna assume it's right there and just take note of this right here the the format of the picture this is a JPG it's a JPEG uh, sometimes they're PNG files but anyway you're going to save as and it's gonna open this folder that iClone 5 temp so you're gonna go back and change it back to the format it was and it's going to bring up some files you're just gonna hit save you do not rename it because you need to overwrite this file flatten so now the two layers are one and Kermit the Frog is there so we go back to iClone and we don't see it uh, I guess I put it in the wrong the wrong place so I'm gonna undo that so I'm undoing the merging of the layers. I'm going to try to find the sweet spot here. I don't know where the arm is. I haven't really messed with this too much. I just, at least the arms. I, I, I normally put tattoos on the, the front or the back. Oh, look, there it is. It's starting to show up. So we're going to have to make some more adjustments. So I'm going to undo that again. I'm going to drop it down a little lower. See if that helps. Remember, I'm, I'm, I'm replacing this JPEG file. So if it does this, remember, you have to change it back to a JPEG and overwrite the original. Flatten. So let's go back to iClone. Okay, now it's showing up, but it's in a weird... <laughs> it's in a weird place, so... Let's try one more time. So we're going to undo and separate the layers. Oops. So let's see if we can move Kermit right there. Flatten. Go back to iClone. Eh, that's just not a usual place where people have tattoos uh, maybe if we oh damn it see this that's what happens when you don't undo and then reseparate your layers so let's see here So he's kind of moving in. So I'm thinking if I put it the other way, he'll go more to the side he's supposed to be on. 
So let's undo this again. So I went right. Let's try go left. You know, it's just basically toying around with it till you get it good. I mean, you could put any anything you want as a tattoo. I mean, I'm using Kermit the Frog, so oh look, and there it is. Now, uh, that's not perfect because it's it goes a little bit towards the back of him. So the way I would fix that would be I'd undo and separate the layers, and then I would just resize him to maybe like that. We'll go back. <sighs> it's right here. I'm telling you, you can never win. That should be good. Uh, it's not, you get the general idea. I'm sure you already got the gist of it from watching this video. There it is. Ha ha. He now has. A Kermit the Frog tattoo when he's drinking tea. So this is a little quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if it helped you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.